And what's up, guys? Thinking Gamer here with For the Wins at ftwins.com, hitting you up with another uh, beginner's guide video. This is going to be covering the more advanced uh, hotkeys and control groups. If you haven't watched my other two videos, one on control groups, one on hotkeys, I recommend you watch those first as they are going to build on what I'm going to be showing you here today. For those of you that have been asking, I have not put out a video in a while. I apologize. I was actually on vacation on a cruise. It was great. Thank you for asking. And now that I'm back, I'm back to making videos, so I hope you guys enjoy. Now, to master your hotkeys and control groups, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, memorize the various hotkeys that you need to use. Now, for me personally, I prefer the grid method, and I actually cover that in my hotkeys video on um, why I prefer that. But if you use standard, it doesn't matter. Whatever you use, uh, what you're going to want to do is memorize these various keys. If you hover over each building, like Nexus here, you see Q in parentheses. That means if you press Q on the keyboard, it's going to make a Nexus for you. And if you come over to Assimilator, pressing W will put an Assimilator out. Uh, what you're going to want to do is force yourself to use these hotkeys. And if at first it may seem a little weird, it may actually slow down and make your game worse. You may be like, oh man, this sucks. You know, I'm, I'm doing horrible. I'm doing worse than I was. But the key is to not give up. Just continue doing it until you get comfortable with it. And trust me, you will get comfortable with it and it will improve your efficiency a thousand times fold uh, than clicking. The general rule of thumb that you want to remember here is that whenever you have the option to either use the mouse to click on something or the keyboard to use a, the shortcut you always want to pick the the shortcut uh, it is tremendously more faster once you get used to it so the first thing you want to do is is challenge yourself play a couple games where you do nothing but hotkeys the whole time never never click on anything if you click on it you fail that challenge restart the map and do it over just play against the computer doesn't matter if you win or lose you win if you manage to get to the end of the game without pressing or clicking on anything so once you did that a couple times you're gonna start getting familiar with it and like I said don't get discouraged if at first you're not that great at it next thing you're gonna wanna do is load up a map like this one this is called unit unit tester map something like that just type in uh, unit test under the custom game search box and it should pop up for you or something similar to it uh, just make sure whichever one you pick doesn't instantly build uh, buildings for you so that you can cancel them now next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to start practicing uh, memorizing these things the best way that I found to do that is just um, Hot, hot key one of your probes. I put it on seven. Uh, always keep some probes on a hot key. It doesn't matter what hot key you pick. That's a personal preference. But whatever you do, uh, don't change it up. So if you put your probes on seven, always put them on seven. Don't put them on seven one game, then three another, then one another. You're really just going to mess yourself up and hinder yourself, okay? So once you've got your your probe to seven you're gonna wanna practice hitting the, the keys now I always no matter it doesn't matter if I have a probe selected or not I'm gonna hit seven anyways because it's good to get in the idea or in the habit of hitting the control group and then the build order so control and then I'm gonna hit Z and then I'm gonna practice Nexus right and then all I have to do is hit seven again and keep doing that over and over okay until I get okay that's Nexus then move on to the next building assimilator all right, just do this over and over. You don't have to actually build the building. Just get the building hovering. Oop. Get the building hovering there, so that you get in the habit of hitting the hitting the correct buttons. Oop. So just get the practice of that. Now, then, once you get that down, you can actually start building buildings. And the key to this is, I'm going to give you guys like a little challenge here uh, that if you do this every day for anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour, however long you got, you just if you practice every day, I promise, if you do this every day, you're going to improve. So what I want you to do is I want you to build three buildings in sequence. Now, I only got one probe over here because I want to show you something real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a gateway, a forge, and a cybernetics core. Now, you can build any buildings you want. I recommend this in that order just to get started. And then once you get that order down, you can actually switch it up and start building them in a different order uh, so that you're not always building the same way and you really get that muscle memory down. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you uh, a gateway forge and cybernetics core. Whoop. Hang on, let me do that over again. 
Now, if you see what happened there, I built the gateway, but it got canceled because I started building the other building before he even started building that one. And this is a problem. This is easily remedied by adding an extra keystroke to this. By holding down shift, you can actually queue up multiple buildings in, in an order without having to worry about that building canceled. So it's, always, it's, it's good to get in the habit of practicing it now. Hit 7, your build, the building, hold shift, place the building, and then move on to the next one. And what you're going to want to do is just practice this over and over. You can cancel these buildings. And just practice building these three buildings in order until you can really get it down, until you don't have to really think about it, until it's comfortable for you, until actually it's almost e easy. And if you think you got it down, practice more. You know, once, once you think you've, you've got it good, just keep doing it, and you'll actually get even better. So just keep practicing that over and over. Once you get comfortable with that, start, you know, mixing up the order. Let's, let's go Cybernetics Core, Forge, and then Gateway. Oop, as you see, I messed up there. I didn't hit the shift. And just practice that over and over. And uh, if, you, if you're not good at that, just start with two buildings at first, you know. Just try to get them down. And then once you've got those buildings down, you can start adding in new buildings. I like adding in a couple cannons there. Just kind of get the, the shift queue up so that you can practice building multiple buildings in a row. So just keep practicing that over and over and over. And it may seem a little tedious. That's why I recommend, you know, just doing it a little at a time, you know, 15 minutes to 30 minutes a day uh, before you start playing just to get the kind of practice of it. Don't over-practice. You don't want to sit here for 16 hours doing this because it's really going to, it'll probably hinder you more than it'll help. Uh, human beings learn a lot better in smaller sessions. So once you got that down, you can actually start adding in more buildings. And what I like to do is I'll add three probes to my control group because it allows you to build buildings more quickly and this is more this is really important for um, the Terran because you don't want to queue up a bunch of buildings with just one SCV if you want to build f three buildings you know make sure you got three SCVs you know I like to have between three to five and it really improves and then you don't really have to worry too much about the shift clicking I mean you do but not to the extent that uh, you would if you were only using one. And one thing to note is if these guys are mining and you've got five of them hotkeyed and you tell you tell them to come build a gateway, not all five of them are going to come. Only one will. So you don't have to worry about, you know, oh, what if I have too many? I don't want five to come over to build one building. Well, they won't. Only one will come over for each building that you queue up. And another thing I like to do is I like to get in the habit of shift clicking outwards. And this is basically to represent as soon as you get done there, he's going to go and back to the mineral. So uh, you're going to want to shift click them back to the minerals after they're done building so that uh, you don't have just probes laying around after they get done building or SCVs or whatever. So once you get that down, you can start adding in more buildings. You know, just keep practicing. Start adding in some of the advanced buildings. And you'll actually see what you're going to aim for here. Oop. What you're going to aim for here is to try to build every single building, at least for uh, Protoss, have them all queued up before the first one finishes. If you can do that, you're doing all right. But keep practicing until you get it down, you know. If you get it down before it starts finishing, just try to get it down before the first bin building gets halfway finished or a quarter finished even. Uh, you can actually get that fast. What this is going to do is it's going to improve your, your actions per minute. And it's going to improve your, your macro management of your base. I would recommend focusing on this control groups and hotkeys uh, before you start really getting into the strategy of the game, uh, such as build orders and countering this and countering that. Because this game, it, it's a lot of strategy, but it's also a lot of unit control. If you can't effectively manage your base or get stuff out quickly, you may know what to build and how to counter it. You just can't build it quick enough to counter it. So this is what I call the foundation of your of your StarCraft gaming here with uh, with your control groups and your hotkeys mastered to where when you think gateway you can immediately just start building it you're really gonna find executing those build orders and those strategies to be a lot easier because now you don't have to think about the hotkeys your, your mind can completely focus on the strategy of the game you know if if you're constantly remembering which hotkey you need to press or this or that to build this or you have to look down there 
to find out what hotkey or even click it, your mind is being taken off the strategy and you may not remember, ooh, what do I need to build next? You know, so if you do this, it's really gonna improve your game tremendously. Let me see here. I got some notes and I, I want to make sure I hit everything. Um, yeah, it touched on that. All right, and one thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're focusing on one race at a time. Don't try to do this with all the races at once. Pick a race, especially if you're new to the game. Don't, you know, pick pick a race and stick with that race. Get good with that race. Practice your control groups with that race, and then practice a bunch of build orders with that race. Once you've got this down, you can move on to build orders. You know, you can start learning the different strategies. What counters this? What counters that? How to identify what your opponent's doing? Scouting and all that other jazz. But this right here is the foundation of what you're going to be wanting to focus on. I hope you guys find this useful, and like I said, you can do this with every race, and let me show you something cool you can do. You, you can actually come down and build an entire expansion rather quickly using these methods. And as you see, that took me all of what, like six seconds to, to build a base, and I don't even have to sit here and watch them. I can go off and command my army somewhere while they just go up and do that. So this is really going to improve your efficiency uh, a ton. So just keep practicing, guys. Uh, you would get the hang of it. And if you stick with these control groups and these hotkeys, I promise you your game is going to improve tenfold. But until next time, guys, this is The Thinking Gamer with For the Wins at FTWins.com signing out. Please subscribe and please comment uh, so more people can see this. And I'll talk to you guys later.